babe? How are we going today, babe? I'm at the beach! Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I haven't done one of these videos in a hot minute but I'm going to be doing a what's new in my wardrobe. So these are all new things that I've collected over the past couple of weeks since we've gotten out of lockdown. I have posted a couple of them on my TikTok which I'll link below. I'll leave my Instagram and my TikTok linked here and don't forget to like and subscribe down below there if you like what you're watching. But yeah so as I said stuff I've collected over the past couple of weeks since uh, we've gotten out of lockdown in Melbourne and I just thought I'd show you. Most of them are like my summer essentials. I did say in a couple videos ago when I was cleaning out my closet that I was going to stop buying into fast fashion which I have I haven't shopped at any of the like glasses pretty little thing motel rocks I haven't shopped at anything like that in a while so I had on my back but yeah I'm kind of investing more in the stuff I am buying and buying less of it and just buying more um, neutral things that go with everything but there are a few items that I did buy that I'm like yep that's hot pink but we're still gonna buy it all right let's get into the video thank you for clicking uh, the first brand I'm going to talk about is Vic and Woods Victoria and wood they I have always been obsessed with Victorian woods however I was never um, someone who wanted to delve into that price point even though it's not a really expensive price point for some of the items but some of them are quite high so I don't purchase like the really expensive stuff but I do purchase the items that are like okay I can wear this day to day I can wear it out so that I can wear it out at night time you know I can wear it to a lot of places and I know it's gonna be in my wardrobe for more than a minute so starting off the, per the first thing I purchased literally when we got out of lockdown was was, um, these jeans which I forget the name of them now but I'll pop it on the screen I bought them in the size one Victorian wood sizing is so weird but I'll also put a photo of me here wearing them but they're like a flared kind of straight legged pant that just are so flattering and they've got a V thing here so it looks really flattering on the legs I am not doing a try on haul at the moment because I've had to put moisturizer on because I bet my legs but yeah they're really comfortable and they're really just like a good staple to have in the wardrobe these are my only pair I do have a pair of Levi, Levi 501s but they're the skinny so I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore but I like still have them for future um but most of my jeans are literally from Motel Rocks or Pretty Little Thing so I'm glad I've got these ones and these ones literally fit to a T they're so perfect they fricked up the sizing so it actually says a size 2 here but down on the side here it says a size 1 um and I went to like the store a couple days later and I told them this and they're like yeah we had to resize them all all of them were um, sized wrong. So I'm like, okay. The next thing I got was the silk cami top. It's not really see, but it's kind of got like bra details. Um, but yeah, this is a really good basic to have in the wardrobe. I did wear it last night, so it is crinkled a bit and does need to go in the wash. But this layered with the corset looks really good. Um, I do have a photo of that, so I can put that in. I wanted to get it in white as well, but they don't have it anywhere in the white in the size zero. And I hate, like now that we can go into stores, I'm hating shopping online. So I'm just like, at all costs avoid shopping online so this is my new black cami I do need to buy the white one though that will be a purchase soon potentially most likely yes the next thing I got was these two corsets, the Sistine corsets, and I got them, I got both colorways just because they do go with everything and they are a bit of a timeless corset, like there are a lot of corsets going around that I'm just like, we can do better. So I got both of these and as I said before, the black cami goes really well with the black corset, hence why I wanted the white one to go with the white corset. But um, yeah, I love both of these colors and I have just purchased the Rome Bustier, which is the exact same corset but in a a, more of a beige color but it has a bandeau attached to it I had to go in the pre-sale for that because they sold out immediately and I didn't know they were a thing until I looked on the new arrivals but yeah I put I purchased that online which is annoying I did really want to go into store to see if it would fit me because I am a zero around my waist but around my top here I don't know what I am just because I've got big ribs not boobs but yeah I purchased both of these and they are literal the best literally the best staples to have in the wardrobe they go with everything like even colored things pop it under a over a colored thing the next thing i got is again from victoria and woods and it's their shrug and i said in my last video or my maybe two videos ago that i was really like looking for a summer jumper or a summer jacket to wear um in australia we get really freaking hot summers so i thought about it and i was like mm, i don't need a blazer i don't need anything like that i've got a blazer but i need something light that it will still keep me warm and i was looking like on all of these other places but i'm like i'm not gonna spend that much money 
money on a piece of cotton. My battery's about to die, so if it dies, I'm moving to the phone. Anyway, so I bought this and I sized up to a size two, so it's a little bit oversized, which we love. And um, I think I've got a photo of me wearing it. If I do, I'll pop, as I said, if, any, if I've got a photo of anything, I'll pop it in here. But yeah, it's super comfortable. It's also like a cable knit kind of. I definitely want the black one of this as well. Because, you know, if you've got it in one, get it in both colors. Next, I'm gonna do all the stuff I've purchased from Age, which I've gotten three things from there and I am loving their new stuff at the moment. I'm really obsessed with it and I definitely will be continuing to shop at Age. It's the first time I've ever shopped there and I really had great experiences. So this is the first dress I got. I literally have not worn it. It still has the tag on it. It is the Casa Mini Knit um, Dress in Ivory and it is the size eight. I wish I got the size six, but they were sold out everywhere just because it's a knit so you can go tighter with the knit because it does stretch. But I think it's a really stunning dress. I again do want it in the black, but I want to get the top and skirt in the black. So I've got a bit of, um, you know, variety in my wardrobe. But the dress is stunning on, it's got a square neck, which looks really flattering. And it's a short dress, which you can't see, but I don't even have a photo. I'll post a photo of me trying it on in the changing room. I am I love it. The material is great. It's a really good quality. And I just know that I'll be, I'll be picking that out of my wardrobe for a long time. The next thing I got was a bit of more of a fun purchase, not black and or white, because that's all I've been purchasing lately. But I bought this um, set from Age and I do have a photo of me wearing it so I'll pop that here. But it is just this um, knit top and this pink stripe skirt and it is literally the most stunning, stunning outfit. I've got them both in the size small and the 8 and the material again, the quality of it is just amazing and I definitely will be wearing this for a long time. It's not just going to be a one-off outfit and I love that you can also mix and match. So I do have another cable knit top um, in my wardrobe that I could definitely wear with this because it's white and also just a basic. And I got that from Chic, I think, um, a couple years ago and I still reach for it literally like all the time. That was a good basic as well and Chic is also a bit cheaper um, but still really good quality. The next thing I got was this top from Hanson and Gretel and I have worn this a couple times and I've gotten pasta sauce on it, I've gotten everything on it and I've had to wash it so many times which is so annoying but it's this top and note to self or if you ever want to get this top, I'll, I don't know what it's called, do size down because it is really big. I'm normally a six to eight on the top and I got the size four. I got the extra, extra small. So if that says anything, but yeah, definitely size down. And I mean, unless you've got boobs. I don't have boobs. That's why, you know, I've sized down. But again, it's a really good basic top that goes with everything. It's got the square neck, which I'm with the little sweetheart neckline there, which I'm loving at the moment. Um, I think it's really flattering on my chest, much more flattering than the triangle top, um, just because I don't have boobs. So it doesn't really suit me, but I just need a boob job. I'm so sorry, guys. My camera died and I've left the charger in Melbourne, but I'm going back tomorrow to get it. But so the quality and the sound is probably gonna change a bit from here on out, but I'm almost done. So we're good. I don't know where to look now because I don't have the camera right in front of me. I've got to, oh. And the most recent thing I've bought, I had a bit of trouble um, purchasing it just because I didn't know what my size was, whether I was a small or an extra small. I did buy the small and I had to return it because it was way too big on me. But I got the With Jean um, Chloe corset dress, which I again, haven't worn. I did buy this one online, but I wish with Jean had a store because I would have loved to try it on before I bought it. It's a great dress as in the quality of the boning is really good, but I just didn't think this is what I would be getting for $239. If you're thinking of getting this dress, save your money. It's not worth buying. It's definitely worth if you've got like one of your friends have got it or anything, definitely worth borrowing it. Not what I would say. I This is the first time I've ever shopped on with Jean as well. And I did have a good experience returning the other outfit. However, there was a bit of a debacle with it. Yeah, I won't be purchasing from with Jean again, just because now I know what the quality is and it's not, the sizing is really fucked up. So I just, I'm gonna stick to shopping in store from now on. But with that with Jean outfit, um, that with Jean top, I actually got sent two tote bags with it. Um, this one and a chocolate one, which is in the main house. So I can't grab that, but they look pretty much identical. So yeah, I got two um, bags with that, which I'm pretty happy about because they're good for summer and they're a cute little bag. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. I'll try and link as much as I can down below. I don't know what is where and what, but I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. But thank you so much for watching. It means a lot. I'll leave my TikTok, uh, my Instagram and my TikTok link below. 
and I'll also leave it on the screen here and please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep watching it means the world to me when you do so yeah and we're almost 100 subscribers which I'm like yay we're only I think it's we're eight subscribers off 100 so that makes me really happy personally um but yeah love you guys you mean the world to me forehead kiss okay love you